just behind me is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. The Castaneda tonight take on Chelsea in their second USA Summer Series match. Premier League football is coming to America. It's a great opportunity to try and globalise the sport over here. Wow, that has to be the best football stadium I've ever seen. I can't wait to get in there. It's going to be incredible. Both teams going at this match on paper actually look quite good. Chelsea picked up a great 4-3 win over Brighton where they still got half a team for the kids because they're offloading loads of players and the coach trying to bring some back in. So to be able to beat Brighton 4-3 and you know, have so many outstanding players and the squad's quite good for them. Whereas Newcastle drew 3-3 against Aston Villa, Eddie Howe switched to 3-5 to completely change the formation. And all of the first 10 minutes, I thought Newcastle had a really good game. So it's going to be interesting tonight. Both teams are looking to pick up a result if you want to win this trophy. I believe the trophy works on goals scored. So let's try and score a few goals tonight, Newcastle. But yeah. If you guys are new around here, make sure I get down and hit that subscribe button. We still have one more match after this. I'm heading to New York tomorrow. The game will be getting played in New Jersey against Brighton. It's going to be a great end to the summer no matter what. Newcastle have got some great experience out here in the United States of America. Well, further ado, let's go over there and speak to some fans. As you can see, I'm showing you all the fans that are about to enter the stadium now. You can tell... A lot of different Premier League clubs you can see it is heavily Chelsea dominated. You're going to see tonight just how many more blue shirts there are than black and white. I remember going across to Philadelphia for the last game. So at Lincoln Financial Field, Chelsea actually played on the first night. They saw out against Brighton. Newcastle played in a double fixture header the next day and we got 40,000 this day. So we're actually 20,000 shy of Chelsea and that's including an extra match as well. So these guys are huge over here. Newcastle long term will look to do something like this. We want to globalise worldwide. Just at the minute we're still in a rebuilding stage. We haven't quite got there yet. But Chelsea are huge. There is the Atlanta Falcons of course. This being the home of Atlanta United. Now one thing we have over Chelsea is actually the return of Miggy Alma on tonight. There's going to be loads of Atlanta fans here. But show them on. And Newcastle will have some additional fans tonight on the support of the USASA. My name is Kieran, I'm from Florida, we came to Atlanta, so yeah. How many times have you got a chance to see Newcastle United? Uh, just one at St. James's, my dad's from Newcastle originally, so I've only been Come on, once. Chelsea! Oh, get out of here! <laughs> but uh, we're going back up to St. James's this, this year again, so back to Newcastle. So I've only been once in my life, I'm 20. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy it tonight. Yeah. I mean, you've been to the... Atlanta Stadium before I me, mean, it's unbelievable it in the city Ben the Stadium. Most, uh, they say it's the best football, American football stadium in, in America, so uh, it's nice inside. I've just taken a look. It's nice inside, good food, good, beautiful inside, really. And finally, I know it'd be quite hard to predict in pre scene, but you got any score predictions for the game tonight? 4 1 to Newcastle. 4 1, well, I show up, so. Um, I take your word for it. We'll take the Isak hat trick tonight. Mark no. my word. All right, my name is Jacob Ventrillo. I'm from Missouri. I drove all the way here for Newcastle United versus Chelsea in Atlanta. So very excited. And how many Newcastle United games have you been to in your life? Zero. This is number one. I cannot wait. It's going to be incredible. And that's how great the Premier League USA series is. For the first time tonight, you're going to see Newcastle United live. Just how buzzing are you for the game? Um, it's incredible. I mean, I've been playing with Newcastle on FIFA since 2003. Um, that's as close as I've ever gotten. So this is going to be, you know, bucket list type of uh, type of night tonight. And not just going to any stadium as well. You're going to the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. For me, I know. as far as I'm aware, that has to be one of, if not the world's best stadiums. It looks so nice. I, you know, I've been to plenty of stadiums in America, like the Kansas City Arrowhead. Uh, for all the American fans, will know that. But this Mercedes-Benz Stadium is crazy. I can't wait to get in and uh, see what's going on. So. And finally, one more thing for me, you just. It's been thousands of Newcastle fans that have yeah. travelled across for this game. Just how does that feel for you on a personal level just seeing so many Newcastle fans such as yourself making the trip across? Uh, it's been great. I mean, even meeting different fans from Newcastle, they were all super welcoming, um, telling me stories of their childhood, going to St. James's Park and stuff. Um, it's just kind of fueling the fire even more. It makes yeah. me want to get up there for a game. The score is currently Brentford no Brighton 2 in the first match. It's interesting to keep an eye on this one, Newcastle's next game. Brighton on pay by our team that's gone to the Europa League. Battling with Newcastle at the minute. Both teams deserve to be here and uh, wow. It doesn't get much bigger than this game, Mercedes Benz Stadium. Incredible arena.
quite a few new Castaneda fans working in the queue here, so I'm assuming just like last time it's going to be Shea given and I'm sure that you'll be inside at 10 fans that didn't go to the queue in there but attended the game go in there and meet the legends and they've got some queue to get through, wow there are so many people here. Right, let's see you going to get out, let's see. <laughs> It was brilliant to see Atlanta United fans actually get a chance to say thank you and hello to Downey after him leaving just over a year ago now. He's not really a good chance for fans to say goodbye to him. He's back in the Mercedes Benz Stadium now, he turned over Peter Silverstone. I think Peter has more respect than obviously everyone get pictures of down, but nobody wants a picture of Peter. I mean this guy is ahead of the marketing. He's actually quite big for the future of the football club. Both him and Down are going to be key catalysts in getting the castle from point A to B. These people had to completely revolutionise the club, build the club from the ground up. Even though the castle has been well for over 100 years now, the thing is on the mic actually you've got to rebuild all of that shape back up. Those two are going to be key to doing that. you got a team like Manchester City going to have over 200 people in the market department. Peter Sewers has to compete against that. He will do it. we we'll hire the best of the best. But those two are going to be the key parts of getting us back to where we need to be. How many Newcastle fans are actually trying to get a picture with Shea Given and show that you really and Steve Hall? So we're going to walk back to the queue now. You've got Chelsea fans here wanting to get a picture with our lads now. Last time we did this in Philadelphia, we actually had Warren Barton in instead of Steve Hart. Now, the difference now being is that Warren Barton has to do box work for the Women's World Cup, so instead of him, we're getting Steve Hart right now. I like all three of them, I think all three of them are great from there. Sorry about that. So as we walk towards about in the queue now, I mean this is a long queue to come and see them and he's sure that and given he must have seen him about 10 times already, we've got Atlanta fans here, hey Mickey. So yeah, uh, he have already met those two there, it's not really much pain to come in here, it's mainly for the, the fans that had had a chance to go to the queue in here, so you can still come and meet the players. As for Steve now, I've got a funny story to tell you about Steve, last time I met him uh, was actually an under 21 game a couple of years ago where I collapsed, so I was quite literally lying in a, a massage bed waiting for an ambulance, he just came into the room, I was just so... My head was just all over the place, I didn't notice him, which is great. I mean, these players had gave 100% Newcastle, whether you think they're club legends or not, it's another question. I think Given is definitely our best goalkeeper ever. That's for the odd two, I mean, just do give it all Newcastle, and I think all of their services to the football club deserve the support like this, it's great to see. Even Chelsea fans are getting pictures of Steve Hart, well, that's the sort of thing I love to see. Just down here is the shirt printing, so let's say you have a jersey, American terminology, you have a shirt that you haven't got any printing on, you can go in there and get the Premier League shirt printed straight away. Hi, my name's David. And you're an Atlanta fan, am I correct in saying? Yes, uh, Almiron, absolute legend. You could ask, honestly, any MLS fan, what's the first 
person that comes to your mind when you think of Atlanta United. And Miguel Almirón is going to be up there 100% of the time. He's been incredible for us. Of course, he's known for that famous smile of his. And of course, this past season, his electric start to the season. Now, I think he scored like something like seven goals in seven games. It was absolutely incredible. So happy to see him be just absolutely electric for both Atlanta and now Newcastle. I was just wanted to mention before because you had a chance to go see Steve Hart last year give me show up before you got your picture taken with us out. How does that feel for you? You got to go see some ex Newcastle players. Awesome. It was incredible. Of course, those guys were probably a bit before my time because uh, it was when Miguel moved to Newcastle. It was when I started watching matches. But you know, of course, looking into the history of the club, I know how big Shola and Yobi is and his brother. And I know how big Shea Given is being absolute legend for the club. So it's, it was really shocking and really I'm really awestruck still. I just want to ask you one more question. Uh, you were telling me before this is actually your first ever Newcastle United match, and I just how does that feel? We're going to be going inside the Mercedes Benz Stadium watching Newcastle United play. Well, it's not my first time in the Mercedes Benz Stadium. Obviously, I watched the Miguel Almiron play here before, but to be able to see Premier League teams, which possibly may be my only time in my young life so far, it's incredible. So maybe later in life when I get a passport and when I get a bit more funds, I would love to see a Newcastle home game. But that's plans later in life, but I'm just happy to really see them now. It's awesome. Full time in the first game at the Mercedes Benz Stadium, Brentford nil, Brighton 2. I'm looking forward to playing Brighton in the next match. I think that's going to be a real tester for us. The team has looked quite lively so far. And speaking about the Premier League, I have to say, the fans have done the merit has been spot on. They've given so much effort. And I think for the Premier League actually trying to get more people involved in football over in the US and there. They've done a real good job here. So as much myself that's traveling across, I'm reaping all the rewards from it. They've done so much, Newcastle have done so much for the fans and uh, yeah, it's definitely been worth money to come over. It's been such an unforgettable experience. But I thought I'd credit the Premier League where credit is due. But let's head inside the stadium now and find my seat. Newcastle, you've got the legends inside the tent fighting. You've got the cardboard cutouts to get your head through the gap. in the house, even in America right here. Fans, please welcome to Atlanta, 
Nothing in our half, all of a sudden Anthony Gordon runs half the pitch down the one from Porsche there. He's came back home and he's scored. Half was an arm one equaliser, he actually did it. You can't have needed that for sure. I thought Chelsea was a much better team of half. Half time Chelsea won, Newcastle won, Miggy Almoron has scored again at the Mercedes Benz Stadium. What a moment that is for him. Newcastle have been brutally honest, that was our only real chance to half. Anthony Gordon's made that goal by the way. The guy's ran for half real life. Almoron, to be fair, says a lot to do on the ball. Great composure, great touch, great finish. Newcastle. I mean, we haven't been bad, I won't say. I don't think we've been bad at all, but I definitely think Chelsea have been the better team now. That Jackson guy, that strike, I've never watched him play before. Scores his goal real good from Porsche, and he's looking at some menace the entire half. Chelsea just seems to be the better team, in my opinion. I think Newcastle will be a good goal so far. I'm intrigued to see back to the second half, especially when both two start rotating. I'm looking forward to seeing how we get on. But honestly, though, it hasn't been the worst thing in the world. I think Chelsea probably have been the better team, though, I'll give them honest opinion on it. What is this, guys? Like, it's patting the cap out and he got like bounced the, the ball that he had and this is so dumb.
Flight attendants, a sellout crowd of 70,789! Thank you for supporting the Premier League Summer Series and showing how we do it in the ATL! Get on it! Hit it! Hit it down! Come on, hit it again! Paul has had the game of his life. It's honestly made so many good saves. Oh, Stu Clare, come on, boys. That's going to be the final kick. Bills among the stadium for whatever reason, I don't know why. I mean, Eddie Howe put all the kids on the pitch. He tested them, he put the pressure on them. And to be honest, Chelsea obviously have more chances. Nick Pope made it. Four or five class saves at half, but honestly, I think Newcastle have got a lot of positive take away again. Drew OFC so far in the Premier League USA series, but honestly, again, promising stuff. <laughs> There we have it then, full time tonight at the Mercedes Benz Stadium, Chelsea 1, Newcastle 1. Once again, it is still made on our Premier League USA Summer Series. Miggy with the goal of the game, definitely the, the star moment of the game, I would say. Second half, I mean, I had a chance to speak to a lot of Newcastle fans after the game. And I don't think we can honestly fairly judge that second half because, well, from the 60th minute onwards, Eddie Howe just started bringing all the kids on. He wanted to put them under pressure, wanted to give them a good opportunity and a full. I mean, a stadium full of over 70,000 fans, you want to give them an opportunity of a lifetime to, to play in a high climate over in the USA. Give us some real experience, and for the most part, I thought we did all right. Nick Pope, I thought, was my man of the match, even though Miggy did get it because of the Atlantic connections, but Nick Pope, four or five class saves in that half. I mean, some of the saves he's making was actually ridiculous, like they were so good. Definitely for me to start, but uh, I mean, for if it is like I do in the Premier League season again this season, I'm going to be excited because, well, these are the kind of goal that does winning matches. It's just so good. And for me, that's kind of what you want to see for him. That's for the rest of the team. No apologies. That's the other four. So I have a four to kill in a bit. That's for the rest of the team. I mean, again, I can't judge too much from what I've saw. Uh, I thought Chelsea, they've got some good youngsters, mate. I mean, I know for how they've been last season, Chelsea fans, when you look at themselves and go, well, no European football this season. We've just so half the team. Let's go out there, let's make a good account of ourselves as well. Yeah, seriously, we watch this season. If they sign a few players in there that heavily improve their squad, I find to Chelsea a lot. But from the cast point of view, clearly a lot of young stars. I thought we uh, did a good job with them. And Brighton will be an interesting one because, well, unlike the other two matches, the Brighton game is the only game that's on the stadium. All the tension's on us, no double fixtures for different clubs playing. Newcastle is the main team playing. We're going to be ready for it, we're going to be real in the go on. Let's finish off our win. I mean, we win the last game unbeaten the Premier League USA so much season. I don't think anyone's going to complain about that. But we have to try and get something going here. I don't know what the hell this is here, by the way. So, uh, this is the background there, like I said. screaming on there, hell of families. I just don't know what's going on at this point. Right, by the way? Yeah, but, uh, what the hell's going on here? I mean, the American culture, the American soccer as you would say i don't know what the hell is going on the time i mean half time we're doing this stupid challenge but boy it's just, it's mental but honestly it's been fantastic yeah this stadium is so nice it's definitely the best stadium i've been to uh, i can't think of any stadium in europe that's actually better than the city bench i don't think there's a better stadium in europe than this i think everything about this team is perfect for a football game it's so nice you've got the roof on the top you've got actual air conditioning properly ventilated around the stadium it's 
uh, state of the art. This is the best in the world. I mean, the thing is, as well, that's to American fans. This is actually the 35th biggest stadium in the USA. 35th. I hope you like top 10 or something. I need to make to. But it's, everything's just bigger in the USA. And it's honestly amazing to see. But appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next one.